We've recently seen an uptick in the gold prices uh, to the points that we've never seen before in, in, in history or recorded history. Could you please maybe explain what the driving forces of these are? And did we see this coming to this point this fast or did you think we would hit it sooner? Um, that's a really interesting question. I would say it's rather a surprise that it came now since I mean, we had uh, international global pensions every now, uh, everywhere, almost, or at, at a lot, of, lot of places. So, almost out of a sudden, there came this new all-time high in the gold price, which is above one uh, two thousand one hundred US dollar per ounce. But what drove the US dollar, uh, the gold price to this high level, uh, was the most recent publication of inflation figures. So we thought that in the European Union, in the US, and just just recently also in Switzerland, that uh, inflation is coming down quite a bit, and this led to an uh, expectation from or to expectation from the investors that central banks will start to decline interest rates or lower interest rates sooner rather than later. Whether this will be the case, we we don't know, and I also think that the gold price going up that high and that quick is not very sustainable. We already see that it is coming back a little bit again. So uh, it, it is, it will, or it has to prove itself, the, the gold price to stay that high. But you also see that uh, the last two years or yeah, almost two years, once uh, inflation started to dramatically increase and the central banks, uh, tried to react in a timely manner uh, that during that period, a lot of people, a lot of investors said, oh yeah, you see, uh, gold is not really a hedge against inflation. But what we see now is that eventually gold picks up in price and becomes an inflation. So it's always a, a question of the time horizon. And we also have seen that also in the, or in the past that gold usually has some kind of a lag until it reacts. So either it reacts to inflation or it reacts to, uh, to um, catastrophic events, I would say so. Uh, and with like uh, events where a uh, corona breaks out or anything else unexpectedly happens, there is a quicker movement, but with, uh, with longer term developments, like the devaluation of currencies, it takes some time. That's interesting. Do you think that, I guess, this price in gold, as you mentioned, it takes gold some time to catch up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Do you think that that has anything to do with a lot of central banks around the world increasing their gold holdings over the past two years? And why didn't they have the same of effects as maybe market uncertainty or um, as you mentioned, you know, this this new all time high that came all of a sudden out of nowhere. How come we didn't see that price jump back when golds were filling their or countries were filling their their reserves with with um, gold stores? I think from the central bank perspective, uh, one of their main targets is stability. So by whatever they do, they want to provide some stability. It, it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always work out. But that's like the, the thought or yeah, the, these are the thoughts behind their actions. So I think that there is um, a lot of careful planning within central banks when they uh, fill up the gold storage. And with this movement, as we have recently seen, it was more like a market reaction where uh, it comes much more to this uh, supply and demand issue where people think, okay, uh, I want to have gold now because now is the time and then it has much more of an impact on the price. Uh, but as we also see and saw in the, in the past, it is not as sustainable as is the case with an ongoing movement. And I think the trend with gold and with precious metals is to the upwards. The price of gold, I believe, will stay higher in a couple of years, but there will also be quite some uh, volatility in between.